Welcome to my PyTorch video tutorial series. Today we are going to see how to install PyTorch on a Ubuntu box in roughly 10 minutes. We will start by checking the hardware of our system. I will list the main memory I have on my machine. I will talk about the CPUs and the GPUs that we are going to be using on our system. Then we will update the drivers. We will start by updating first the Linux. Then we install the latest drivers from the NVIDIA website and we will check that everything went fine. Moving on to the CUDA part, we are going to be installing the toolkit. We will check the success of the installation by compiling and running a simple example. Finally, we will install the CUDNN library. Then we are going to get Python 3 via Anaconda. We will download it and install it. We will proceed with the activation. We'll add the Sumith channel and then proceed with the installation of Torch and Torch Vision. Finally, we are going to be validating that everything went just fine. Let's say you got semi-serious about deep learning, so you got a Ubuntu box. You bought 8 RAM banks of 8 GB each for a total of 64 GB. You have an Intel Core i7 CPU working at 3.5 GHz, 6 cores, two threads each for a total of 12 virtual CPUs. Finally, you have four GeForce GTX Titan X. When checking HTOP, you're gonna see 12 cores, which right now are doing basically nothing. And you have 64 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of swap memory. Let's be good boys or girls and let's update the system. So we are gonna be typing sudo apt-get update okay and then sudo apt-get dist upgrade and everything is updated perfect so we can move on and install the drivers for the nvidia gpus so nvidia drivers so download agree and download copy link address so let's go inside download let's make a directory and let's go wget listen sweet all right done and if we check the content we're gonna see here we have our file so we're gonna change the running bit so chmod user plus x so make it executable for the normal user and then the name of the file so now it's gonna be turning green and we are gonna have also a star at the end of the name i have to tell you that i have an alias for l so let's install now the drivers so we're gonna do sudo dot slash nvidia enter i'm compressing nvidia accelerated graphic drivers for linux i do accept all right uh-huh continue installation continue installation bam sweet okay yep all right and sudo reboot bam so let's check uh, if we have installed the drivers correctly so we type nvidia smi and bam we have all the four gtx titan x installed correctly none of them are using any memory because the screen is currently uh, off and i'm sshing into the machine Otherwise, with the screen turned on, one of the four GPUs would have some memory uh, utilized for driving the screen. Current use power, 70 watt out of 250, which is the max. CPU utilization, 0%. Next point is going to be installing the CUDA toolkit. CUDA toolkit download. All right, here, Linux 64 for Ubuntu 16, and I'd like the run file. Thank you. We are going to download first the base installer. So let's right click, copy link address. Before starting to download the package, let's open Tmax. Even though the connection may drop, we are going to still have everything uh, running on the server. So wget this guy. Also, let's download the patch. So wget and this guy. Copy link address and and there we go both the packages are downloaded here so let's check the content we have the CUDA package and then we have the patch so let's make them executable 
chmod user plus x and both of them so right now all of them are green so let's start by running the main package cuda underscore 375 okay i accept i would not like to install the drivers because we already installed them i would like to install the toolkit yep mm -hmm. yep do you like to make a sim link yeah i'd like also i'd like you to install the samples and yeah sounds good we can see a warning incomplete installation the installation did not install the CUDA drivers this is because i decided to install the latest driver by myself beforehand moreover we need to make sure that the path includes user local CUDA-8.0 bin and that the ld library path includes the user local CUDA 8.0 lib64 so let's do this right now so we are gonna be vimming our bash rc so let's add some pound signs just to make clear it's a new division then we're gonna be writing CUDA and then we are gonna be writing these two lines so export path equal dollar sign path which we append user local CUDA bin and this is because we decided to make a sim link so if we go here and we check for this location user local CUDA we see that is pointing to the latest CUDA-8.0 and moreover we have uh, an export ld library path as it was prescribed before equal dollar sign ld library path to which we append user local CUDA lib64 which is pointing again to the version CUDA-8.0 let's save and quit let's try to run one demo to see whether everything works fine so we can go here and we see that we have the nvidia samples we have several samples we can go in the first one in the utilities and then let's try the device query so right now we simply can type make uh, we have generated a device query dash slash device query and then we see that everything works so now that we have installed the CUDA toolkit we can install also the patch so we can run slash CUDA 61.2 Linux run I accept uh -huh. and it was quick so let's finish the installation of the CUDA related libraries by installing CUDNN let's find out where to find CUDNN download uh-huh okay yep download login all right so let's go here what types of data are you working with images and videos what do you do I do research which framework do i use i use torch and pytorch of course so i agree let's get the latest version since we logged in in the system here we won't be able to download this file with wget on the server so i will have to download it first on my machine and then i'm gonna just pull it from the server so let's get the link copy dropbox link let's go here and let's go wget and there we go let's untar so tar extract file cudnn and we have a directory called cuda so if you go inside cuda we find the following so let's go inside include and we find a cudnn h file we are going to be copying this guy user local cuda include and then we're gonna go one level up inside lib64 and we are gonna copy everyone to user local CUDA lib64 Bam. and we just install CUDNN let's install Conda which is gonna be installed in Python 3, Jupyter and IPython automatically we can simply google Anaconda we're gonna get here so we are gonna choose Linux and download copy link address and then wget this guy here we go anaconda which is not green means it's not executable and doesn't have the star so we're gonna do chmod user add execution to anaconda 
and now it's green and it has the star so we can do dot slash anaconda aha uh -huh. i uh, yep yes do you wish the installer to prepend the anaconda 3 install location to path in your PHRC? yep and that's it well let's do source our bash rc and let's type python and voila python 3.6.1 from anaconda 4.4.0 64 bit has been installed sweet so now we can install pytorch with cuda support so let's type conda config dash dash add channels so myth Sweet. And now we simply can type conda install pytorch and torch vision. Uh huh. Conda will be also updated. So let's see if we have a working pytorch installation. So we can type ipython. Then we can do import torch. And we can see that both torch and torch vision are installed. We will go with torch. Then we are going to type, although you may not understand, it's okay. This is just for showing that you have a working installation. T equal torch dot rand of five. Then we can type T and return. And it's going to show us that we have a tensor of one dimension of size five, which is populated by numbers from zero included to one excluded, sampled from a uniform distribution. Let's try now to send the tensor to the first GPU, r equal t dot CUDA. Bam! The tensor has been successfully sent to the first GPU. So if I type r and I press enter, so we can see that r is a one-dimensional tensor of size 5 and it lives on GPU 0. The values of r are the same of t. Simply, t was residing in the RAM, so the system memory, whereas r resides in the device memory, device number 0. Let's say we would like now to send r to the GPU number 1 instead. So let's call it s in this case, equal t dot CUDA, but now we specify, please send it to the GPU number one. And that was also successful. If so, if I type S and press return, we can see that S is a tensor of one dimension of size five and it lives on GPU one. So the memory of device number one. And this concludes the installation tutorial. Yay.